Well, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and you did any of that crazy Black Friday shopping. Hopefully you stayed safe. If you got any great deals, I didn't really do any Black Friday shopping, but if you got any great deals on stuff and want to rub it in my face, throw it down in the comments let me know what you got. But let's get started. Let's hop into our email, maybe. There we go. Oh, this one here is due tomorrow, so we will definitely do that one. But let's start with this one here. It says, Dear Sir or Madam, I need a new rig, and I hear you can help. Performance-wise, can you aim for a benchmark of 5477? I need this pretty soon, seven days at the latest. Dual GPUs for this, please. I worry about used parts. My brother has MSI in his PC. He says they're the best. So, he wants a 3D Mark score of 5477 with as many... MSI parts as we can put in it. Let's accept that one. Next one says, My friend said you work with computers. Can I trust you to build me a decent computer? I'm looking to overclock in the future. Please, can you put in a custom water cooling loop? I'm going to need it in eight days at the latest. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. I'm a total EK WB fanboy. All right, so he wants water cooling for the CPU and the GPU. So let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's go up here to this one that says it's due tomorrow. It says, hey, my PC broke itself. Can you help me? I have no idea what's wrong. I'm getting really random rebooting. So can you do that before tomorrow? Vents look a bit clogged. Is that okay? I think I might have visited a one too many dodgy sites. So we need to run a virus scan on that and also figure out what's wrong. Let's go ahead and accept that one so it doesn't time out on us. Let's go back to this one. I'm going to step away for just a moment. I'll get a build put together and be right back. So for this first build, we're going to go with the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon, an i5-8600K, an Arctic Freezer 33 Esports Edition Cooler, two sticks of G-Skill Rip Jaws. It was 8 gig, 3200 megahertz two MSI GTX 1070s, a Patriot Scorch M.2, 5.5 point, 512 gigabytes, a 550-watt EVGA power supply, and we're going to put that in the Cooler Master Masterbox 5 MSI Edition. All right. So for this next one, he wants custom water cooling. So let's open up this shop here. I'm going to step away and get another build put together for this guy and be right back. All right, so for this custom water-cooled build, we are going to go with the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi, an i7-9700K, two sticks of HyperX Predator, 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. We're gonna go with a FSP Hydro G, a 650 watt power supply. We're gonna put another Patriot Scorch in this one as well. We're going to put that in the Thermaltake View 37 RGB, which I've never built in before. So hopefully all this water cooling stuff actually fits in there and I don't screw up like I've done before trying to fit stuff in a case that it won't fit in. But we're going to go with a EK CPU block, an EK res, an EK 360mm radiator, and an EK GTX 1080. Alright, so let's make sure all this stuff is set for next day delivery. Let's go ahead and order all of it. Let's go end our day so we can get in that repair as well as all of our parts. We can get to work. Let's see here. Oh, I got some stuff off of PC Bay. Oh my. That thing is dusty. All right, let's get everything up on workbenches. Let's see if I can remember who goes with who here with the sticky notes. Oh, that's a big old case. All right. Well, let's start with this thing. Let's get our compressed air out. Let's see if we can't remove a bunch of this dust. There we go. 
I get it all? Looks like the power supply of the back side here is nasty. I'm going to go ahead and remove this side's glass. Let's grab our compressed air again. And we'll finish cleaning everything up. All right. Let's see if it powers. So no juice. Let's check the power supply first. Let's see here. Power supply is broken. A Silverstone ST1000. Do I happen to have? No. Got a 1200 watt EVGA. But let's put the same thing back in there. Let's go order the Silverstone ST1000. Let's see here. Power supply. Let's see, what do they have? The vents looked a bit clogged. There aren't really vents on that, but all right. Let's go ahead, get this delivered now. Uh, we can plop this in there. Oops, power supply. Let's get rid of that broken one. Let's get the new one installed. And we will cable this up with these purple cables. I'll swing around to the front so we can see what we're doing. Now let's see if it powers up. All right. Let's get our USB drive in. We'll get our virus scan software on here. We'll see what's going on with the virus situation. Yep. Anytime. There we go. 441 viruses. Let's clean that up. Should be good to go now. Let's get our side panels installed. And this other side. All right, let's get this one out in the hallway. And we can start working on this MSI build. With dual GPUs. We'll get the motherboard installed. Let the auto standoff tool do its job. Go ahead and get some of these out of our way. And get this ready for the CPU and RAM. So let's get our CPU installed next. It's going to be the 8600K. And we will get our RAM in there, which is this G Skill Rip Jaws 5. It's this PC. There we go. Okay, let's get our storage in. And we will go ahead, get some thermal paste, get our CPU cooler installed. Graphics cards next. We've got two uh, 1070s. Let's see, how does the power supply go in here? I think we've got to take that off. And we'll get our power supply, hopefully. Why do I have so many five? Oh, that one's used. Okay. Hopefully, this 550 watt power supply is enough for these two 1070s. Now let's get this PSU shroud back on. I don't think he said anything about color, so let's go with some red. Since we're doing MSI and there's a lot of red in here already. Make it even more red. Get everything wired up. 
Hopefully that's enough fans. Hmm. Well, we will power this thing on. And we'll see what we get. Let's hop into our BIOS. Make sure we turn our XMP on. Let this boot up, because we're going to have to put a 3D mark on here anyway. Let's go ahead and do that. We need to do anything with lighting. I don't think so. Hey. Okay. I'm going to get 3D Mark running. As soon as I have a score, I'll come right back. All right, so 95, 48. I think we had to beat 54, 77. So we definitely did that. Let's get our side panels put back on. And we can get this PC out in the hall and start working on our custom. Um, yeah, I think that turned out pretty nice. We can start working on our custom water-cooled PC. And hopefully everything fits in. How do you open this thing? Is that a big curved piece of plexi? Wow. Let's see. I think the radiator is probably going to go here in the front. Get rid of this drive cage. That come out too. Let's get this side panel off. Okay. Well, let's get our motherboard in. Which is the Z390 Tai Chi. By Azrock. And let's get it ready for RAM and CPU. Let me go ahead and take those out as well. Let's get, oops, not cooling. Let's get our CPU, which is the 9700K. And we're going to get our HyperX Predator RAM. Get that installed. I'm going to go ahead and thermal paste our CPU and put our CPU block on. Man, I've got like lots of new blocks. I need to start using these things. All right. Let's go back here. Let's get our storage installed, which is another Patriot drive. Let's see. Let's grab our power supply next. It's this SFP Hydro G. We'll get that screwed in. Oh, maybe I should have installed that. Oh, it's probably fine. Okay. Start putting some of our water cooling parts in. Let's get our radiator installed in the front. Let's see where the reservoir mounts. Ooh. Oh, it mounts sideways there. Hmm. And I don't have a 100 millimeter reservoir to try. Do I have Got a 280. Let's take this 360 out. This is the bad thing about working with cases I've never used before. Let's put a 280 in and let's mount it high. Now we should be able to get this reservoir sideways mounted, which that's a first. 
I don't think I've ever mounted one sideways in a case in this game. All right, let's get our GPU. It's the... Which one of these 1080s? I guess it's this one. Apparently I've got a few new 1080s. Okay. I think we've got everything in there. We just need to uh, cable it. And... Lump it all. Let's see, what do we want to go with here? Hmm. Maybe... Kind of like to just do white. I'll do white if we hate it. After everything's all connected, we'll change it. Okay. Next, I'm wondering. Let's do let's do rigid. Let's see. Which is I think that says out. So I'd like that to run to there. Like that. And I can't tell on that block. But let's try that. Hopefully this will run the correct direction. Well, let's get some coolant in it. Let's just do clear coolant. I don't think I've ever done clear coolant. This is a very interesting case. Very interesting case. While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and get a USB drive in and we can zoom back out some. There's no reason to be zoomed in that close. Well, let's see if it powers on. We're going to hop into the BIOS real quick. We're going to turn our XMP on. Everything seems to be working. So let's get this case put back together. So they call that thing a handle, huh? Get that side put on. Let's get the front. I don't think there was a filter. Let's get this curved side panel put on. And this thing that they call a handle. Okay. I'm going to have to build in this case a few more times to decide if I actually like it or not, but it doesn't look bad. Let's go ahead and get this out in the hall. We can collect some money. Let's close this stuff out of our way. Uh, let's collect that repair. And we'll scroll down here. And we'll collect for our builds. Perfect. I think we've unlocked some new uh, stuff here. Okay. Something Silverstone. Got some PC deals and some more emails. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in the next episode.